Hey, good morning. How you doing? I just got out of bed and have my morning coffee. And it's Saturday before strings on grass. And I'm getting ready. There is a wet yard out there, but don't despair. There's going to be sun tomorrow on Sunday. And I'm here to tell you several of the reasons why you should come to Strings on Grass tomorrow. I have put together an amazing experience for you guys that I just can't believe. It, every time I put one of these together, there's always little surprises that happen. But if you haven't RSVP'd, already 200 people have rsvp to the show. We have about 50 to 100 slots left for the show tomorrow, which is on the front lawn in a beautiful house in South Austin. So let me tell you a couple of the reasons. One of the reasons I put together this show, or one of the reasons that you might consider coming, is I have a great band. Not only is Jimmy LaFave playing with the arrangements of strings attached to the arrangements of Will Taylor, the person who's talking right here, but uh, so how often do you get to hear Jimmy LaFave with several of his regular band members, string arrangements? How often do you get to hear Libby Kirkpatrick, who's probably one of my most favorite singer-songwriters who dances on the guitar and just sings over the top of this amazing guitar work. Beautiful spirit. She's a musical gymnast. Libby Kirkpatrick will be opening the show solo and will probably be joining her as well. But not only get to hear Libby Kirkpatrick, Jimmy LeFave with amazing backup musicians, um, but you're going to get to experience this under the stars, under the moonlight, at sunset, you get to bring your friends, bring your kids, and we all get to have a transcendent experience of being together in Austin, South Austin, away from all the downtown traffic, and we're really excited to welcome you to the first uh, concert of the 2015 season, Strings on, Strings on Grass. And one of the things that's really exciting is I like to focus on not only the, the guest artists, that bring you out to the shows, but the amazing players that back up. They all have careers in their, of, of their own, and they all have amazing stories. And I shared earlier, if you look back in the Facebook feed, an uh, interview with Brad Evelsizer, who I've worked with for over 20 years. Um, I'm going to share that in this video playlist. But also, th this show marks the first time for, to work with Anthony DuCosta, who is a very young singer-songwriter, lead guitarist, who makes that electric guitar sing in ethereal ways that, that you're just going to love with Jimmy LaFave. So I include a little uh, video interview with Anthony DaCosta, so stay tuned for that. And be looking back at the news feed here, because uh, we also have a great cellist who's never played with strings attached, Jen Mulhern, who's amazing, will be joining us. Uh, Jason Elinoff, another colleague who played on the White Album show way back in 2006, he's joining us on, on viola. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, and, um, Andrew Pressman on Upright Bass. Amazing. We'll be, we'll be playing electric on this show. So enjoy the interview with Anthony DaCosta and Brad Evelsizer here, and we hope that you RSVP. There's only about 100 slots left, so click the link below to RSVP or just look around on the, the Facebook feed here and you'll find it. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'm going to make myself look a lot less morning-like. So... That you can count on that. I'll I'll be prepared for you tomorrow at Strings on Grass. So please join us and make sure you bring a chair, wine, food for your own picnic, a picnic basket, a picnic blanket. Invite some friends. Make sure they RSVP'd. Bring your kids, and we'll see you at Strings on Grass tomorrow. <laughs>